Hello and welcome to Trading 5 Talents. In this video, I want to give an update of my directional iron fly bot. And in particular, I'd like to show you how it's been performing during the recent reversal we've had in uh, the markets over the past few weeks. So what you see here is a daily candlestick chart of SPY uh, starting at the beginning of 2023. Um, there are two indicators that are shown on this chart. There's the 5 EMA, the exponential moving average, shown in white, and then there's the 14 day EMA shown in orange. Now what you see is uh, basically it's a general uptrend of SPY. However, um, you can see there are a few periods of corrections in which there is a peak and then you know a correction and then sort of a low and then a reversal. Um, and then most recently we've had uh, a peak in the market and then we've had a correction. So I started my bot right here and um, if this is your first time tuning in, I made an options trading bot using option alpha. And if you join, there's a link down in the description. Um, but if you join, you can look at the community and just search for directional iron fly bot. And you should see this one pop up. You can go ahead and clone it and then, you know, take it for uh, a test ride uh, using a paper account just to see how it performs for you. And then you can tweak it in any way you want to. But basically what this bot does is it opens an iron fly every day, either a three or five DTE. It's going to exit at 10% profit or a 20% stop loss. But I made it a directional iron fly bot by first determining the trend using the 5 and the 14 EMA. And if it's a bullish trend, it's going to center the um, middle strikes of that iron fly three strikes above the current market price. If it's a bearish iron fly, uh, again, as determined by the indicators, it's going to um, move those center strikes of the iron fly three strikes below the current market price. And if there's, you know, some overlap of signals, it's just going to open a neutral iron fly, which means that the center strikes are right at the market. So again, there's a link down below for option alpha and then just search directional iron fly bot. When I started the iron fly bot, as indicated by this arrow, you can see the market was in a general uptrend and I really didn't know what was going to happen once it um, experienced a correction. So, you know, to the left of the arrow, you can see a few periods of peaks and, and lows and there's a reversal. So I was waiting for a, a strong reversal. Um, you know, a several day reversal in order to see how this bot really performed during those times because once it determined a bull trend and the market kept going up, then of course it would always win. So what's going on uh, once it encounters this type of reversal pattern? So right here is what I would like to concentrate on. Um, so a few trades that go up into this high of the market and then several trades that go uh, down or reverse off of that high. So what you see here in the small chart on the top left is basically just a smaller version of the previous slide, um, the market where I started and then the reversal. And I'm concentrating right now on just this highlighted section. And that's the big um, candlestick chart that you see right here. What is shown in green uh, is what you see on, on the screen here. Now, the way that this Ironfly bot is set up is it trades a bullish, a bearish, or a neutral iron fly. And because it opens up every day, and each of these candles are um, uh, represent one day. Um, I thought I could display it like this down here at the bottom. So if you see a green up arrow, that means um, a bullish iron fly was opened on that day. And if you see a down red arrow, that means a bearish iron fly was opened on that day. And then if you see the double headed arrows in white, that means a neutral iron fly was opened on that day. Now, each of these iron flies open at um, noon uh, Eastern every day, and then they close once the profit target or the stop loss is reached. So you could see uh, there are a few places uh, where the neutral iron flies were opened, and those are right here. So just let me briefly explain how this uh, works. If the price of SPY is above the 5 EMA, which is shown in white, and the 5 EMA is above the 14 EMA, which is shown in orange, a bullish iron fly is opened. If the price of SPY is below the 5 EMA in white, and the 5 EMA is below the 14 EMA in orange, it opens up a bearish position. In any other case, a neutral iron fly is opened. So you can see in this first boxed area over here on the left, the price was in between the two EMAs. Therefore, the neutral iron flies were opened. Over in the second box towards the middle, you can see that the price was, um, it, 
depending on when it opened. Um, the price either could have been between the EMAs, so a neutral iron fly would have been opened. But if the price was below the 14 EMA, um, it wouldn't have opened a bearish iron fly because the 14 was still below the 5 EMA. That is, the orange was still below the white. So therefore, a neutral iron fly would have been open. Similarly, for this one right here, yes, the price is definitely below both EMAs. However, there wasn't an EMA cross yet. That is, the 5 was not yet below the 14 EMA, so a neutral iron fly was opened. Down here, it looks like the 5 did cross underneath the 14 EMA. However, the price must have been between um, both EMAs. That's why a neutral iron fly was opened. And then again, right here, uh, the 5 was below the 14. However, the price must have been in between the EMAs uh, when the iron fly was opened. And finally, in this last neutral iron fly, it looks like a similar situation must have existed. That's why a neutral iron fly was opened. Everywhere else, you could see pretty clearly that... Um, either a bullish or a bearish iron fly was open because the conditions are pretty obvious from this chart. So these are the iron flies that open. So how did they actually perform? Well, uh, again, to make this um, easier to visualize without having to go through every single trade uh, using the trade log in um, option alpha, I just summarized it all here on this chart. And so if there is a green dollar sign, that means it won. If there is a red dollar sign, that means it lost. So you can see the performance of all these iron flies. There are definitely more greens than red, which is good. So once you um, start coming off of this peak um, here in the middle of the chart, you can start seeing there are a few more losses. However, the bearish iron flies are still winning. Okay, another thing I'd like to point out, if you go over here for these first two losses shown right here, you could see a bullish iron fly was opened um, because it was above the 5, which was above the 14. Um, however, over the course of a few days, the price of SPY went down. So that's why this one would have lost. It didn't lose on that day, uh, but the trade that was opened on that day lost because the price moved down over the course of the next few days. So that's why you see those reds right there, even though the price is still you know, bullish or the, the candle is still uh, positive. All right, so getting rid of those boxes um, for the neutral iron flies, let's take a look at the win rate. So this uh, shows 39 trades. Um, the last one is still open, so I don't know exactly how it's doing. We can take a look a little bit later on. And if we just look at the first half, so this you know bullish run up to the peak, we can see that there was an 80% win rate. So that's, that's really good. Um, this is one of the better performing bots that I've had. 80% um, win rate is excellent. If we look at the second half of this chart, so the last, what, 19 trades? So when it's coming off of this peak or when uh, this correction is starting to happen over the last few weeks, there was a 74% win rate. Again, it's really, really high and the bot seems to be following the trend. So putting it all together with these 39 trades, there's a 77% win rate. So again, I think that's really good. Um, the bot is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. It's opening uh, the types of iron flies that it's supposed to be opening. Uh, it's closing them when it's supposed to. And um, overall, it's winning more than it's losing. Now, um, some caveats to this, as I'll show you over on option alpha when we look at some of the numbers, is that sometimes the losses are a little bit greater than I anticipate. So the stop loss is set at 20%. However, if there is a gap, um, a, you know, a gap up or a gap down, whatever uh, direction is against the iron fly, then the bot is going to close it as soon as it can, and that's going to be sometimes greater than the 20%. Now, sometimes it works in our favor, and your profit is greater than 10% because of that gap um, just happens to be in favor of the direction of the iron fly. So let's take a look over at option alpha to show you um, a few more statistics. So here are the settings for the directional iron fly, and I, it's referred to as the EMA cross iron fly. That's how I initially named it because I'm using EMAs. And I was also testing longer duration iron flies versus a shorter duration iron fly. The shorters worked better. I was also testing whether it was a broken wing iron fly or just an even winged iron fly. And the even wing worked much better. So here are the settings and you can see um, this decision tree right here. So it's gonna open at noon, it's gonna open every day, and it's either a three or five DTE based on what day of the week it opens up. That way I don't have a whole bunch of positions all expiring on the same day. And then again, it determines the trend based on the five and the 14 EMA. So if we look at the current position, um, this one right now is losing $12. So that's the one that was still open on the chart. You can see uh, the 
the most recent two, there were um, big losses, and that was because of the gap ups um, when these were actually bearish iron flies. So this bot also tags each position as a bearish, bullish, or neutral iron fly. And that way it's just easier, easier for us to analyze on the analyze tab. So you can see um, pretty consistent wins. Um, there are some big losses, again, because of the gaps. But then sometimes you have something like this where you um, gain almost 25% uh, because SPY gapped in the favor of your direction. Um, we can load more and you can see uh, just quite a lot of wins. So this one was definitely a big loss. Now overall, even though you have these bigger losses and these really you know, smaller wins, it's still doing well. So if we look at the dashboard right here, this is all the closed PNL, so how much we actually made. Um, and you can just see it's a nice, uh, nice steady grind upwards. If we just look at the total PNL, this includes the open positions. It's pretty much uh, going on the same trajectory. And what's nice about this uh, bot is that because these are such short um, duration trades, you're not in a lot of positions at the same time. So I'm really only in one or two every day. So I'm rarely in three. I'm not sure. If, I, I don't know if I can check, but I don't know if I've ever been in three positions at the same time. So that's what's nice about them. Um, we can take a look at um, the, the average uh, DIT, the days in trade, in just a little bit. But right now, there's 60 closed positions. Um, the max drawdown is only 6%, negative 6%. Um, total profit is 1,000. And the win rate, you know, 76.7. That's basically what we saw um, when we just looked at those last 39 trades. So average win 59, average loss um, 116. So let me show you um, what the Analyze tab looks like. All right, to get here, you just click on Positions, and then you click on Analyze up here at the top. And then this filter right here is for a bot. And so I just selected this, per this particular directional iron fly bot. You got the same data up here, 60 positions, 76.7% win rate, profit factor. Um, you got some ratios, your wins and losses, the average PL, $18, and the average DIT is one and a half days. So, you know, just about every day, every other day, you're closing a position, which again, I really like. I don't want to have all that risk on the table with multiple trades open at the same time, which is something that my free range Ironfly um, was, you know, that that's a, a risk that um, I'm not sure I'd like to take. So overall, um, you know, the profit is good. Let me show you something else that is I found interesting. So if we look at the tags right here, if we just look at the bullish iron flies, and we've pretty much been in a bull market since this has uh, started. So if we look at the bullish iron flies, we see 75.7% win rate and just a lot of green. All right, if we look at the neutral iron flies, we have a 91.7% win rate, and obviously um, that's really good. Now if we look at the bearish iron flies, like this, you can see that the win rate goes down dramatically and overall we're actually losing $25. So is it worthwhile to keep the bearish iron flies open? Well, in a bull market, it seems like no, you would just want to just do the bullish iron flies. Maybe that would work better overall, but when there is a reversal like we just saw, that's that's what I think I would like to keep the um, bearish iron fly trades available. Because when there is a correction like we've had in the last few, we few weeks, we don't know how long that correction is going to last. So I think as long as there's a specific trend that you can find, then I think this, uh, this strategy would work pretty well. Now, it hasn't over the last, um, since end of May, uh, you can see that 11 positions were open, only you know 64% win rate. So obviously that's not good. You know, I think it just needs more time um, to see if we actually have a reversal in the overall market trend. Then yes, you're going to want the bearish trades to um, be opened. Um, otherwise, you're either one, shutting off your bot completely, or two, trying to trade a bullish strategy on a bearish market. So is this a, just a correction that we're in or is it actually a trend reversal? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I can't predict the future, which is why I want to let the bot do all of the decision making for me and just determine which direction to trade in. 
So if you have any questions about this bot or strategy or option alpha, then please leave a comment down below uh, and I'll try to get back to it as quickly as possible. If you'd like to try out option alpha, link down below, just search for the directional iron fly bot. You can trade it in your paper account, make any adjustments that you want and see how it works for you. Until next time, trade wisely and take care.